Hello everybody, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Stephanie and I am here today with my wax melt empties. It seems like these are going to be weekly, so I am officially changing the name to my weekly wax melt empties. I have quite a few things that I've gotten through. There were certain things that I focused on throughout the week with new orders coming in. There were certain things that I wanted to try to finish up. So I will get into all of that. Um, I'm going to go by vendor as always. And today I'm going to start with my rose girls. I have a couple of things here. So this first one was Cucumber Rain Zen. This was a super, super fresh scent. It was super clean, but not like cleaner, just so fresh. Cucumber really just freshens up a blend. It is very, very crisp and it just really adds this like clean freshness to whatever it's paired with. I think that Zen is a house blend of hers and Rain is just an aquatic scent. So this was just a fresh, aquatic, relaxing, very nice, clean scent. I really enjoyed this. It's not something that I always would typically go for, but I really liked it. If you like cucumber melon, I think that trying cucumber mixed with other blends, you would probably like that as well. It's And if you like just fresh, like cucumber's just so, so fresh. Um, I just can't say it enough. So enjoyed that one. And then the other Rose Girls uh, that I finished, one of my cat's hairs is in the label, so it doesn't matter. I'm not even going to try to remove it. But it's gone. Um, this was the Olive Branch, the Lush type. I love Lush scents, but the Olive Branch is by far my favorite. It is such a clean scent, but it is so like herbal and musky and mellow, but it's still soapy at the same time. It's not herbal in the sense of incense. It just is so, so fresh and clean. I put on Olive Branch after cleaning the house. I put on Olive Branch if guests are coming over because it's such a neutral scent that like my mom and my stepdad really don't love scents. And I had the Olive Branch going in here when they came over and they had no problem with it. They didn't say anything about it so I just really recommend this as like a nice clean scent for a bathroom open concept bedroom it can really go anywhere my girlfriend is a huge fan of this one as well I also finished some olive branch from another vendor that I will get into but yeah that one's just always always a favorite if you like clean with slightly herbal scents and you haven't tried the olive branch highly 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 recommend that those are the only two things that I finished from rose girls so what to do next? Let's do my L3. I will do my samples first. So the first sample that I used is watermelon lemonade. This was absolutely delicious. I like lemonade, but sometimes lemonade can really pack a punch and it can be really like juicy in your face lemon. And sometimes it's just a little too strong on the lemon for my liking, but the watermelon toned this down so nicely and it just mixed into this very nice mellow lemonade. And to me, it smelled like there was a little bit of an herbal quality in this for some reason almost a little lavendery and it gave me the idea to blend lavender watermelon and lemonade i definitely want to try that um whether it's i'll request it for a ready to ship or if by the time i get called up on the l3 customs list if it hasn't been poured yet i definitely want to try watermelon lavender lemonade so i really liked this sample next sample was another lush type this is 29 well, it, on the label it says 29th Street High, but I know that it's 29 High Street. This was just a little bit of a misprint. This is very similar to the Olive Branch, but to me, 29 High Street doesn't have that herbal quality that the Olive Branch does. It's just a little bit more like fresh and a little bit more, a little bit more floral, a little bit more creamy, but I love 29 High Street. I know that I have a scoop of it coming from L3 and I cannot wait to get that. Next, I finished up this bunch in lemon curd, tea and cakes, and beignet. Lemon curd is a very, it's very strong lemon. I feel like it's the strongest lemon that's out there. And if you don't pair it with something that goes well with it, lemon curd can absolutely take over a blend. 
but with the tea and cakes, tea and cakes is orange, almond, and black tea. To me, it leans mostly citrus. So we had two citruses kind of at play with each other, and then beignet, which is a donutty, cakey scent. And this was just a extra citrusy tea and cakes to me. I didn't really get the beignet. This was mainly just lemon and orange and almond. I enjoyed it, but it's not something that I personally would repurchase. Next, I finished this bougie bar in Fresh Pick Strawberry, Boardwalk, Mallow Clouds, Pink Sugar, and Zucchini Bread. I think that I have talked about this blend before, but the this one, so when you first put it in, you mainly smell the fresh picked strawberry. Fresh picked strawberry is such a sweet, sweet strawberry. So at first you mainly swell, smell this sweet strawberry and Boardwalk Mallow Clouds is like marshmallow, vanilla, sandalwood, and you smell that second kind of mixing with that fresh picked strawberries. And then as the blend mellows out and kind of runs its course over the next couple of hours, the pink sugar and the zucchini bread come out and it finishes finishes off as just delicious strawberry bakery. Love the scent, highly, highly recommend it. I'm not even always a fresh picked strawberries person, but I absolutely love it in this blend. And last L3 was this bougie bar in Blue Sugar, Beach Nights, and Zucchini Bread. Now, I believe that L3 has two different Beach Nights oil. They have a Beach Nights blend that I believe is a like a house blend that was kind of created for them. And they also have Beach Nights Type, which is the Bath and Body Works Beach Nights, I believe. So this one doesn't say type, so I think that this is their Beach Nights. And their Beach Nights is a very toasty Beach Nights. I get that smoky marshmallow quality the most from their Beach Nights. But I love their Beach Nights blended with zucchini bread because that extra deep bakery note kind of offsets that overly toasty note. And the blue sugar really brought out that like sea salt and freshness that are in the Beach Nights. And this just blended so beautifully together. It wasn't bakery. It wasn't beachy. It wasn't musky. It was kind of all of them combined. And I really, really liked it. I'm so, so glad that I have more of this. Great, great, great blend. That is all of my L3, so next I'm going to move on to my Fantasy Wax. With my Fantasy Wax this week, I got my Fantasy Wax Melts pre-order. Last week, I posted a video of my haul um, here on my channel, and because I got all of that in, I wanted to focus on finishing up my scents that I had from the last Fantasy Wax pre-order so that I could make room to start melting the new ones. So the first uh, bag that I finished was Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Old Town Bake Shop. Now this scent, this is one that I like to call a creeper. So when I say it's a creeper, what I mean is when I smell this on cold, I barely get anything. When I smelled this on cold, I just got like this hint of sweetness. I put this in the warmer and it just blossomed. The Vanilla Bean Noel in this was by far the standout note, and I love Vanilla Bean Noel. It is such a sweet and creamy vanilla. The Cupcakes at Tiffany's is also so sweet, and it just added this extra sweetness with some Old Town Bake Shop in the background to just give it a little bit of a boost at the bottom, and this one was... Like I said, it was a creeper. It crept up on me. And it also was one that as the time went on, it actually started to throw stronger, which is why I try to keep my wax going for as long as I can until I really can't smell it anymore. Because the, some of these scents, when you give them just a couple of hours, two, three hours in the heat, they completely transform. And that was what this one was. I will probably request this again because it was just such a good, sweet, neutral bakery scent and I really, really loved it. The next um, pre-order bag that I finished was pretzel, yellow cake, and buttercream frosting. So this one, I love yellow cake and buttercream frosting, but I've kind of discovered that pretzel is a hard oil for me. Either I can't 
pick it up um, then and that happens a lot a lot of times pretzel is just one that my nose personally cannot pick up it's not anything towards the vendor because it happens with every vendor that I've ever tried that sometimes I just cannot smell pretzel and because of that sometimes it just really mutes a blend so this one was so pretzel heavy I mainly just smelled a hint of the yellow cake and buttercream on warm and it was mostly that pretzel but it was a little bit of a dulled pretzel for me so this one was wasn't a, my favorite but again it's just because I realized that I don't like pretzels in blends like this it's still performed it's no shade to the vendor or anything like that I just realized that the combination isn't really for me and then next pre-order bag that I finished is lemon pound cake and blackberry jam butter cookies I absolutely love this. This one starts out very fruit forward. You smell that lemon and that blackberry jam right away. And then as it kind of goes for a little bit, the bakery comes in and takes over. And it's just this beautiful, beautiful pound cake and butter cookie with a hint of lemon and blackberry. I think that lemon and blackberry blend so, so beautifully together. Out of all of the fruit blends, I think that that is a great one that works well together. But yeah, this one was really, really good. Like I said, super fruit forward at first, but then that bakery comes through and it just it, it's so good. I would definitely get this again, especially because when it while it is fruit forward, it gives like a very just clean, fresh scent. Then the bakery just comes in and like I said, it just kind of turns into this delicious fruity bakery. I loved that one. Next one I finished is Sleepy Time. This is Blue Sugar, Lavender Mallow, and Birthday Cake. So this one, this one I had bought before I really knew that I wasn't always a fan of lavender mallow and that I sometimes had a hard time smelling birthday cake. But this one, I, I had to experiment with it because like I said, some of the notes were a little bit difficult for me. I realized that I needed a little bit more in the warmers with this one, which is totally fine. And it started off definitely with more of the blue sugar and the lavender marshmallow. But then as it melted, the I was able to smell the birthday cake um, and it kind of ended off on more of a birthday cake sweet note. Um, but this one, this one was really interesting. I, you know, I don't really know I don't really know how I feel about the scent combination. It certainly wasn't bad. I just don't know if I would get all of these three mixed together again. This next one is one that I love. This is Palo Santo Sweet Lavender and Vanilla Bean Noel. This was such an herbal blend. It was definitely a very nice sweet herbal lavender blended with that smoky kind of incense -y Palo Santo. It was definitely like herbal and smoke forward which I absolutely loved but like I said vanilla bean noel is such a sweet and creamy vanilla that it definitely added something to that and made it so that it wasn't just like incensey and herbally it added just this cream in the background this is another one that I had to experiment and this one was the opposite I needed less in the warmer to get a better throw but yeah this was really great I would definitely buy this one again the next one I finished was Strawberry Pound Cake, Lemon Pound Cake, and Blueberry Cobbler. And this one, I had a really similar experience to the Lemon Pound Cake and Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. This was so fruit forward at first, and then after it melted for a couple of hours, the bakery notes really, really came through. I feel like I mainly smelled Lemon Pound Cake and Blueberry Cobbler. The Strawberry Pound Cake was a little bit lost in this but I could still smell it just um it was definitely to me the um the note that I was able to pick up on the least but I really really like this I like scents that are fruit forward and then develop into this like really nice bakery this next one this next one ugh, I really loved this this was mac apple pumpkin pecan waffles and leaves and I am a Mac Apple lover. Not everybody is, but I am just such a fan of Mac Apple. Mac Apple and leaves are ones that are combined so frequently. I see leaves. It is, it has that kind of like deep 
fall berry note with the freshness of the leaves and it, it leaves to me as a little bit craft store and mixed with mac apple it becomes very craft store but i like that craft store um but instead of having cinnamon which is what i feel like usually those craft store scents have in addition to the apple and the leaves this had pumpkin pecan waffles and the pumpkin pecan waffles really really put in some work to mellow out the mac apple and the leaves which are such strong overpowering scents and really evened them out and just made it so so nice and this scent put in overtime in the room where um my poor cat he's fine but he had some bathroom <laughs> issues and there was some lingering smells and this i i put this on and it just were like it put in overtime and dissipated anything that wasn't smelling great so quickly mac apple is just so good for that and i just really really loved this combo i feel like when she does like a fall pre-order this is one that i would definitely request and then last fantasy wax i finished up this pear caramel and brown sugar pound cake I really liked this one. This one leaned um, more body care to me. It kind of what reminded me ever so slightly of pear creme brulee from Bath and Body Works, but it was mainly just the pear smelled similar. It was not creme brulee. It was definitely caramel and brown sugar pound cake. So it was much, much deeper, much, much richer. But with that body care pear, it just smelled so luxurious and beautiful. And I really, really enjoyed melting this in my bathroom. It was really, really nice. I finished two of these little baby scoops from that smell good shop this first one is strawberry zucchini this is just strawberries and zucchini bread i absolutely loved this the strawberry was a very rich fruity realistic strawberry mixed with zucchini bread strawberry zucchini is just one of my favorite bakery blends of all time so this is always going to be a winner it was a huge winner would definitely definitely repurchase and then I also finished this one in After Midnight. This is lavender and pound cake. This was really good as well. This was a very herbal lavender mixed with a very, very deep, dense, rich pound cake. Very cakey, but the lavender was a really nice lavender. I really liked the way that these mixed together. There was one night that I was just up super late and I was out in the living room. I couldn't fall asleep and I put on this blend and it just relaxed me so much really really love this i love lavender with bakery this one finished one clamshell from the burning mitten this was apple crisp apple crisp caramel macchiato and sweet cream foam called about damn time this one was a little bit disappointing for me unfortunately um i tried melting it in my open concept area and i did not get a throw um i tried melting it in my bathroom and got a very light throw and then i melted the last cube in my office and i got a better throw but still the thing about this is i didn't smell really any apple nor any coffee even though caramel macchiato is a coffee note i actually mainly smelled the sweet cream and a little bit of caramel and it was really really good i mean i like sweet cream it was a very nice light creaminess but I expected some apple and some coffee in there with it. And even when it did throw a little bit better in my office, it was very short lasting. So for some reason, this one just didn't work for me. Next, I have two from Penny's Wax Melts. This is my other olive branch that I finished. This was a shot cup. I absolutely love Penny's Wax Melts olive branch. She actually, I messaged her on Instagram because she didn't have any olive branch listed in her shop. And I asked if she still had her olive branch oil because her olive branch is just my favorite. And she was so kind as to make a custom order for me and poured me five clamshells of the olive branch and I got a couple of other things as well which was so so kind I really really appreciate her doing that for me and this other one that I tried was strawberry marshmallow cream this was a sample so this one um on cold it smelled really really great because I mainly smelled the marshmallow cream with just this little hint of strawberry and when I put it in the warmer the strawberry got way stronger and it was definitely more strawberry forward and I couldn't smell the marshmallow cream as much but then when it as it melted a little bit longer I started to pick up on that marshmallow cream note um this was okay this one I did like better on cold than on warm and last two things I have here are two samples from Broadway wax this first one is magical melon this was cotton candy honeydew melon cantaloupe and boardwalk marshmallow clouds 
I am finding that I really, really like Honeydew Melon and I'm starting to go through a little phase with that. This one was definitely Honeydew Melon heavy and like I said, I've been really, really into melon so I appreciated that. I didn't pick up on the other notes too much. It was really just kind of like a sweeter Honeydew Melon but I enjoyed it. And then this last one was Snow and Spices, which is Santa Baby, Christmas Morning, and Sweet Snow. This one smelled like a fresh, snowy day outdoors. It had the tiniest, tiniest bit of like a juniper berry note and just the ever so slightest bit of a tree note, but it was mainly that fresh, snowy outdoors. And I really, really liked this one. It was like I said, just very fresh. It was very outdoorsy. Melting it with, you know, the windows cracked open was really, really nice. So that is all that I have for my weekly wax empties. I hope that you enjoyed this video. As always, all of the vendors will be linked down below and I will see you in my next one.